Hi everyone, today we're going to assemble a two-in-one rocker and begin. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the parts and you have to be careful as you take this out of the box. There we have it. You also need to ensure you have all the screws. They should be one, two, three, four, six screws. And the first thing you do is assemble the stands. Now there's two stands. There's a right stand and a left stand. Uh, they indicate the sides, right here there's an L for left and there's an R for right. There you go. So you check for the bottom, you place them. Uh, these parts ought to face one another, these two, and we begin with those. So this is the bridge to the back. This is the back, we assemble the back part first. We make sure they slip it together nicely. A little bit of pressure is all it takes. There we go. There's two spaces where we need to screw in bolts coming together nicely. Oh, that one. This is the back. This is the back bridge. Uh, the front, pardon, this is the front bridge. It comes with a music bar that also provides a vibration effect. Now this one moves in here to so these two slots right here. There's a space. So, as you fit it, it faces you. Just like that. You turn it over. And there's four slots for the bolts or screws. Given the, the spacing is angulated diagonally, you'll have to screw it in diagonally. If you screw it in straight, it will mess up the spacing and it will make future assembling and disassembling difficult. And that's it. It's fitted in place, very snug. Right here, just under the music bar, there's a slot where you can fit in your dry cells. 
uh, I'll open it just so everyone can get a look of this type of batteries they need to fit into the space. There you go, fit in your batteries and it will be good to run. And as you can see, that's how it ought to look. From there, we move on to the next step. We fit in the washable seat pad. That's how it goes. Uh, there's two slots right here, if you can see. There's two slots right there. You fit them in. You fit in these particular parts. A little bit of pressure is all it takes. But it can get slippery at times. There you go. You fit it in the right angle and it will be smooth. From there, there's these slots. Now the parts that you fit are these pegs. You squeeze them in, they fit fitted snug and nice, and then you push them towards this tiny slot in the peg space. As you can see, it's coming together real nice. Yeah. That clip sound helps you know it's held together firmly so that your baby won't be at risk of falling when they lean in. It's very comfortable. Uh, it has safety straps onto it where you can fit the baby. And you click in the straps once you fit it in the baby just like that. Now, there is a toy bar. Thank you. There is a toy bar. Given the, this particular baby rocker and most of them for that matter, are usable to an age range from zero to 36 months, which makes it three years. The toy bar is very good for developing motor skills and playing. So it helps them identify colors. They're able to play with it really snug. It can rock, helps them lull to sleep. And if you want to stabilize it, there's grips right here at the bottom. Just like that. You make sure they clip for you to hear that sound and be certain it is safe at the back as well yeah, just that my table isn't fit enough but on a flat surface you get the perspective uh, that's how it ought to look like you can remove the toy bar and fit the table, the feeding segment, or where they can sleep if they're aged two to three years. Now, there's a, sorry. Let me get my tools out of the way. There's slots right here which are adjustable 
as the baby grows you can move it forward you can bring it closer yeah there it is you can move it forward you can bring it closer all depending on the baby's activity and how they fit so it's really simple just like that it's clipped in its position just like that and voila now if you would like the baby to recline it's as easy as moving this part of the rocker side you press that button for it to allow motion and they can recline thus enabling them to sleep so another feature is the straps in the back these straps are meant to hold on to the baby's weight to hold the baby's weight just like that and this one goes into this little slip back here so this grip will hold it in place quite firm and it's adjustable there you go it's very adjustable uh, there you have it folks a two-in-one rocker thank you so much for your time for more information hit the subscribe button uh, drop a like comment you can also visit our social media handles instagram facebook tiktok at nila baby shop and visit our website as well www.nilababyshop.com thank you